Hello and welcome to XCOM 2 of War of the Chosen, the overmodded edition. We are here about to pop into another mission, uh, kind of a lower tiered one against the advent because we are just trying to get some intel back so we can keep moving our resistance contact goal forward. And of the two, I'm more worried about the one that says, hey, you may be dipping into a bad technology era. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I realized after I got everyone kitted out to go that we actually have the training center up so some of these people can go ahead and spend their AP they've been accumulating this whole time. We have a bunch of gifted soldiers, so let's go ahead and do that, right? Tactical sense for our new lady in the rage suit. And we're going to go ahead and give her up close and personal since that's what she's going to be doing now. Go ahead and pull out of that and let's see if there's anybody else. We got Oscar here. Maybe he can pick up a skill that lets him do something besides attack. We don't care about the warning shot. We don't care about combat drugs. Actually, do we care about combat drugs? Are you kidding me? MB to stun and almost all sigh. Free doesn't break concealment. What? And I... I'm almost tempted to get that, but I think instead we're going to go ahead and grab a magic weapon here and see just how good that is and see if it lasts a long time because if it lasts a while it's going to be good enough to keep uh, using just by itself and unfortunately well you know we can get him return fire that's good enough use one of his AP for that and we're gonna we went ahead and upgraded the shadow keeper to make him have a, an advanced stealth option since he's got a few abilities that function out of stealth like his uh you know, you know stealth shot oh, hold on that's cloaked but oh, whatever being stealth and cloaked Either one's pretty good. Most importantly though, we got the Rage Suit now, and it's going to probably be the in-between point for our soldiers to, uh, whoever's wearing one of these, it's going to be like a mini Super Trooper. I ran a pretty good run of it. I keep having to remind myself that we threw this on Legendary, but then again, we're only at Force Level 8. The truly insane stuff has not started happening yet. That's still a little ways ahead of us. I... I'm kind of at the point where I'm hoping they get tougher because I'm going to start to feel bad like I did, you know, something wrong in the modding if they don't uh, start to pose some sort of challenge to our people. But then again, we keep getting like the same Hellfire squad that keeps dropping two armor Hellfire Blast pieces of equipment for us. And uh, you know, what are you supposed to do? Not use it? All right. Having activity is high in the zone. I guess it just wants me to kill everyone here. Not really sure what admin activity is supposed to be. And we got an SCP squad here on top of that. Oh. We have people whose UI is not loading correctly, so I just keep an eye on that with F1. That happens sometimes. We threw us some uh, extra armor on Oscar because, bless his heart, he needs something to keep him in these fights. But as usual, we're going to start it off with Whisper and move her in. Moving as See ordered. what she can find. You will never hide from me. I spotted an alien patrol. Alright, Mac and a sniper. You can probably get a little bit closer. I will go. See, that's some of that nonsense. Was that another purifier? I, <laughs> I thought I was finally rid of them when these advanced troopers started showing up. Oh well. And we can't jump here because she saw them there. Let's throw Calvin around to the side over here. And probably up onto this corner as well. Oh, there they are. They're sitting there with three armor. Looks like everyone's scaling with each other fairly well. Should we move? Uh, it's kind of a gamble. Let's let's throw a Ranger in that direction first, where we start running our superpowered Rage Trooper out there. Because if anyone gets revealed and you know needs to duck out of it, at least he has the armor to handle it. But it looks like it's going to be fine. And let's go up and around, shall we? What do we see? Anything? Uh, double Berserkers. 
We're going to use Jeremy to uh, slice up everyone that's not a horrible monster. But, you know, then we find. Oh, and we got our own Stun Lancer from this. That uh, occasional extra troop perk is going to lead to some fun times, I bet. Affirmative. We'll put our Sorcerer up there. And we'll throw the Stun Lancer up here so he has uh, good options for getting close on top of them and potentially stunning one of these uh, horrible giant monsters. Please let me AOE you down. Oh, never mind. They found the SCP squad. I wonder if anyone's gonna run across Calvin. I bet they will. He's just—he's just right there. Come on. You can never escape my sight. Yeah, no, not quite. Let's see if they'll go through that doorway or loop around. They're looping around. There's our boy. Well. <sighs> no place for you to go now. That didn't go how we wanted it to. And they're taking a shot at him instead of the giant monsters. Teach him something. Man, that's a lot of armor. Ah, well. And they're shredding mine on top of it. Affirmative. And it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to handle the Berserkers themselves. Especially when they keep shooting our man with the five armor back there. And who knows how much energy shielding he's rocking right now. And he's immune thanks to his own Hellweave that he stole from his, their uh, compatriots. Yes. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll try to light him up and just... Oh, or maybe they'll try and be brave and burn the Berserker. Well, that was an interesting way to start it off. Let's see. These are purifiers and snipers. The health totals are kind of low. I don't see much point in Understood. not Moving using out. our huge fire sweeping. So let's take a look at... I can't tell if we saw that or not. It's a really strange sentence. Uh, I don't like there's any reason to flame blast because they're just out of the AoE on both of them. We'll keep the turret to pull the side for now. And we'll take a swipe at this purifier through the wall, apparently. Got some really sharp swords. Cybernet is cutting them up. And we got a stun we can try and drop on one of them over here. We can probably just kill them. Let's see. Diamond. Oh, this used to not... Hold on, what's this? Wrecking ball from the suit. All her other abilities. That gives her a devastating rage strike. That's a pretty good sentence. Looks like it shreds all of that armor if it connects, too. That's nuts. You know what? Let's just get up in there. Ah, channeling pure queen energy. Although I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. I thought that was a free action. I'll have to look at the settings I have right now after this mission is going on. Still have yet to solve the mystery of the enormous kinetic strike coming out of uh, our lady Wildfire and her new cyborg body. Should we move you forward and try and figure out what's going on with this phase drone over here? Maybe not. We're probably okay at the moment. Let's see, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. We can throw Acid Blast around to all kinds of fancy whatevers, or we can try out this new magic weapon ability that you can give to. I suppose Calvin. We have nothing to fear. And any animations for this? No, no, I didn't look like it. Oh well. Uh, lady, how about you have Solus, don't you? 
or fortress, so you don't care about fire. We'll move you over here. And after that, we're gonna drop an Inspire on our man Calvin here. Really take advantage of the magic weapon ability, if then we can. So we got multiple abilities we can use. First things first. Let's deal with the Berserker in our face. Sod on 11 damage through the armor. We have another shot we can take, and then we'll probably finish it off with a Spartan Charge to just fully drop the guy. And Spartan Charge. Here we are. Lead in with the melee. And hose him down with the rifle. Didn't quite get through all of that armor. But after a charge, he gets to run out and jump into cover. So he should be fine. Uh, let's throw him. Um, I thought that was more cover over there. Let's throw him way back here. I don't think he's going to try and get to Calvin this turn. So Whisper should be safe. And can our recruited Lancer do anything? Yes, he drops the Berserker for the team. And Ranger still has one more move. There's not a whole lot he can do out of stealth, so we may just go ahead and reveal him. What is that? The power strike, maybe? Yeah, that seems fine. Let's shred that armor off and get this guy a little bit closer to death. There we go. That's a heavily armored line we got over there. Alright. Jesus. And they got Hellweave. Okay, they, they're pretty set up to not have to deal with Berserkers, aren't they? Are you gonna... Yep. Shields up. Which means those people just became big targets for me. Or, uh, Shield Bear himself just became a big target for me. I'm disoriented, but he's gonna get a Hellweave shot to the body. Yep. I... Wish the AI was a little bit smarter about that. Like, I'll take the advantages I can get, but... Kinda pulls me out of it sometimes. Oh, oh yes. Micro-missile, all of that. One of the few times I'm happy to actually see them drop the micro missiles. Yeah, he was gonna go down, no matter what. I guess they kind of knew that when they dropped the missiles over there. And the other berserker is just being torn apart by epsilon. Ooh. But their snipers do not have the best overwatching, so ten out of ten. Good to know. I'm so used to seeing the Berserker just shrug off fire. The Queen. It's going to take a little while for it to register with me that the Berserkers themselves are not, you know, immune to fire. Alright, Oscar, you cannot move from your position because of various Overwatch what's its. You can throw a magic missile somewhere. Hold on, don't we have someone who can just run Overwatches? Yeah, we do. Is it charge that allows you to do it? Or is it hard yards? Hard yards, yeah. I don't know where it is. Right there. Who is overwatching? In that one weird spot? Oh, it must be someone over there. Ah, whatever. Maybe it's still fine. Only problem is I run over here, we have a chance of triggering those phase drones, and we don't have anybody in stealth anymore. Although we could change that. How long does this cloak last? Last one turn. Still, we're in control of the fight over here. You go ahead and use stealth mode. It's fine. Got 
and let's go around the corner, check and see who's waiting for us over here on the bridge. Just the priest and the phase drone and an exploding spark. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. You, though, barely in cover with your box. Maybe we should, uh, dip you in somewhere. Let's see, what can we silent fuse? These are a bunch of incendiary grenades, aren't they? The damage would be amazing if it wasn't an incendiary, though. There's no chance that it's a real grenade, right? Like, I'm just an explosive one? Nah, I'm not even gonna... I've almost tricked myself into wasting a turn. That's such a tempting target. Hmm. Did he get a reload and a kill? I forget. Didn't he get an ability that lets him do that? Let's see. Oh, he's still got a magic weapon for like two turns. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's really good. Let's just get him back in there then, shouldn't we? Lightning reflexes, my man. And we're gonna go ahead and maybe silence the same mine. No, we'll mine merge on somebody. We'll mine merge on our man over there. And then we'll drop an Inspire. Really focus in on our man teamwork. Give him another action he can use to start tearing people up. Let's see. On the Berserker, eh. I'm not really feeling tearing into the Berserker. I kind of want to duck into this corner and just start laying into these uh, Epsilon units right here. That's probably fine, yeah? Kind of sucks that I wasted the, uh, didn't use the sprint and wasted a movement for it, but whatever. Let's just duck in over here, find someone who has the juiciest looking back, and put a few shots into it. Magic weapon helping out even through the, uh, really thick armor they're all wearing right here. I'm just duck against the edge of the map, making it really hard to flank him, and make him a massive thorn in the side of, uh, anyone who tries to wrap around that side of the map. You did not make the best decision. Got him. That close and personal make that not even cost an action. We used hard yards and we wasted it, but eh. I think that's okay. We'll be fine. We have this Robo Man who is going to be just torn apart by our upgraded anti-cyborg swords. Yeah, just put down straight through the armor. Stun Lancer, I'm thinking we just duck in right here. Help him hold the door. Uh, hold the door against any potential people running through. Not very strong, but he's got something going for him. Three damage, not bad, not bad. Oscar over here still. We got an Acid Blast. We don't really mind the Berserker right here. Let's drop an Acid Blast on this Epsilon unit way in the back. Get some of that armor off if it connects. All three armor off. Alright. You keep pulling stuff off like that, Oscar. You can actually start going on missions with us from now on. Position confirmed. And we'll just dip back in here and hold this corner. First time in a while we've had to really just focus on the enemy, uh, squad instead of advent. But as tough as they all are. Oh, there they are. Someone finally rang the bell. Oh, these priests worry me. That's that special kneeling animation, man. I know where you are. Sniper getting into a good sniping position. can't just leave Calvin there and behind you. But I think he's out of uh, just the ability to spam his actions. What? 
Really? Going for the priest? Alright. I guess if they're flanked, they really like taking those shots. I get it. Come on, get rid of him before he's an issue. Yes. I get the feeling these priests have that soulless ability, though. Or whatever it is that lets them just uh, ignore being hurt. Alright, let's, uh... Well, now would be a good time for hard yards, wouldn't it? Hmm. For the rest of your turn. I don't know if that's still on or not. Whatever, she's got really hard, uh, high defenses, so... How about we just move her up here? That be a bad call? Don't know. I do know that if I were to go ahead and trigger power sprints, I could get into a good position. But you know what? We're just gonna duck him over here. Another one of the people you really, really do not want behind you. Let's see if we can connect with a 51. Wasn't even worried. Knew he could do it. Sick. Alright. You got a ways to boost your comrade? Yeah, that's fine. I mean... I go where I am needed. You're good enough. You don't need Calvin. Ah. Ah, well. We can no longer hide. That's no problem, though. We can probably just magic missile that down and be just as good. Do we just go ahead and take a few shots, fan to the Berserker? Probably not, right? I can see that going south. We need them to focus on stuff that is not us. How about we just patch our armor up, get it up to its full six again, if I'm remembering what he was at directly. And then we just punch this man. Doesn't matter. Lightning reflexes. Smack him in the face. Hell we, but we do not care because we have six armor. And then we just duck back into our high cover. Just dropping a little guarantee damage. Making sure their attention stays on the important one. Who is me? Let's throw our advent man over here. So we can move uh, riding up. Connect with this. We'll go for the 60. Five damage, nice. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can drop this magic missile on something that really matters. No. Appears he can't see that, but over here. That's affirmative. There we go. That opens up some targets for you. No, no, not the phase drone. Does that not pierce through armor? I thought it did. Well, in that case, then yes, the phase drone. Your body grows weak. Don't want to take a risk when we can actually get a kill and help Oscar start to get stronger. Speaking of, finally made lieutenant. Alright, let's deal with this uh, robot before he blows up on us. Solid, reliable 9 damage every time. And right here, is this high cover? It is, but it's flanked by that guy, apparently. Uh... You know what? She is also a Grenadier. Let's just, uh... Grenadier. Volatile mix. Bumping up the grenade damage, poison connecting. That's gonna help a lot. Fire damage took him out, Psionic Corpse dropped. The Berserker is so tore up from Red Fog, he cannot connect with anybody. And these guys are full of acid and poison, I believe. Yeah. So they're gonna be mostly useless. And these two still have to find some way to deal with Galvin. 
That's not gonna do it. I'd almost feel bad for them. Oh! Okay, I thought that was like the, the Berserker like twitching because he's about to die. That's good. Got it. She is immune to fire. Alright, coming through. This might be everyone left on the map. That'd be kind of wild. Oscar, you think you can get another kill for us? Six damage. How about that? New fancy guns. Really helping out. Let's dip you over here. Take another shot on the guy right behind you. You can't? Excuse me? Oh, hold on, let's just, uh, you don't get to do this often. There we are. Psychic Shank. That's just a fun ability. Alright, let's launch this grenade over here. Got that strong Spartan arms. Blow that armor off. Is there anything that you can connect with? 25% chance to hit. That's obviously high cover, so no can do there. Uh, come on. There we are. Moving Ranger in. Looks like we're already on cleanup duty. This uh, team we got together is pretty dang strong. Let me just blow a hole in this wall. And more fire eater equipment has been dropped. Down. Can we get all the way over here? Is it worth going all the way over there though? With poison in the fire in the way? Eh, probably not. Okay. Let's just duck here. And I'll throw our turret into a flanking position. Good enough. Force them to have to reposition it away from anything that might be comfortable over there at the moment. We'll do an overwatch, and we'll just start fanning shots into their back. And this is damage that you, re you really can't ignore. Let's see what they do. Alien activity. There's still aliens on the map. That seems kind of spiteful. And suicidal. Target down. The more broken fire eater equipment. If this keeps up, we're just going to have like a whole stockpile. Like enough to give the entire squad this hellfire stuff. And they'll be slower. Damn if they won't be durable. That's also not going to do a whole lot. He's almost as armed as Calvin is. <laughs> I think he just voluntarily flanked himself as well, which is a strategy you don't see often because it gets you, you know, killed. That's evidence there. Target down. Oh, that was weird. Let's, uh,. Get moving. Uh, I guess he's immune to gas. Our man's just immune to most environmental effects. How about it? Well, with that in mind, let's uh, what's our energy level at? That? That's pretty high. We'll duck over here. And then we'll duck around right here, and then we'll go send him deeper in to look for more targets for us. You okay, never mind, they found us. And that's probably going to be the end of it. That Muton Elite looking fancy. I just duck back into this full cover, so they can't even make a shot on us. Come on, Calvin. And you 
we'll go eh, here. Here's fine. Damn, it looks like she can see the Muton Elite, but I don't think she's going to rush in there on top of him just yet. We'll get around to it, though. Don't you worry. Panic them just from seeing the corpse of their queen turn into a suit. Can't blame them. That would probably rattle me as well. Go, go, go. Let's see. Stun Lancer, you're kind of, uh, I don't want to say disposable, but, I mean, a little bit you are, so we're going to have you hold the front line. Move our little silted mag turret up. We're going to keep Oscar here on the high ground in a Above position it. where he can support people with a magic weapon if possible. Back into the shadows with Whisper. And forward she goes to try and hit the front lines with the rest of the team. Now yeah, here's fine. No time to spare. Can't wait to upgrade her gun. Interesting. Four health, shield, and three armor. That's going to be a lot to dig, uh, dig through, especially if it's as uh, strong as he seems to be. And especially if the shield bearer drops even more on them. Oh, yeah. Although it doesn't appear to have stacked with his personal shield, that's pretty good. Alright, let's see. We can drop magic weapon on somebody. Oh, never mind, I'm wrong. It did stack with his shield. Let's go ahead and reload. And look at what our AoE options are. We're suppressed. So we probably can't use a lot of our stuff, but we can use a fair amount of it. Come on, come on. Oh, almost. Oh, well. If we can't do that... Man, that uh, suppression really tearing us up. Maybe we should send in one of our main damage tanks, Jeremy, right here. Hellfire won't touch him either. We can throw this, though. Minor thing, but maybe it'll pierce through the armor. Yeah, a little bit of armor shredded, and most importantly, the stasis has been removed. Oh my. I didn't think it was going to destroy its cover as well. That's going to change things for us. Ranger, let's see. I'm to use that energy, but what for? I'm thinking we're going to power sprint. Dip over here. And that'll let us take some shots on this guy right here. Man, your aim is just not as good as I remember it being. Might be better to go over and just have you punch him in the back of the head. I'll take the shot, though. Hey, it worked. Connected. Can you hit two? You can't, but, you know, we're just happy you hit one in the first place. Mm, where are you at, my man? There is our guy, Calvin. Not a whole lot you can do from way back there. I guess we can use you to uh, patch up this drone for us. Increase its power. Or increase its accuracy again. Lower that red wave uh, for next turn, I suppose. Whisper. Now these guys might have good grenades to blow up on them. Let's see. I'm at your service. And we definitely want to do that. Uh, not only because of the damage, but that we can take away their ability to use it against us. And maybe destroy some of their cover while we're at it. Almost. We almost got away with it. Don't want to try and set him on fire. We can maybe throw an incendiary. Uh, 
Or we can buff up the power of Diamond. Which I think we're going to do. Let's buff Diamond up. There we go. Better aim, better damage. Is he within the number of tiles for us personal? Don't know. That was a 13 damage crit. Magic Not weapon doing just nuts damage. Now nah, we should have done that from the first place. We lit the elite on fire. Looks like he is not a fan of our turret. What a gun. I want a Gatling plasma gun. On the list. We'll get one eventually. Yeah, good luck. Bitter shield. Oh yeah, we have those uh, bitter rounds on him. Oh, no kidding. I'm actually surprised. The duck has at least hunkered himself down. Let's see, mine merge with. Let's just stack it all up on diamond like we have with Calvin. See what that's gonna be like. How fast are you feeling, Jeremy? Fast enough to go slice up a shield bear for us? There were some energy shields. Looks like it. That'll help a whole lot. Alright, do you have the standard muton counterattack? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. So I guess it'd be best just to run up and get a little closer to shoot him than it is to run up and get in melee range for him. That's not going to be near good enough, so we're just going to have you get a little bit closer and, you know, maybe draw fire for us. It's rude and mean as that might sound. Hey, they treat him as disposable, right? Why don't we demolish that cover for us? A little wooden box, easy, easy. All right, diamond. Let's see. Man, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Let's go for a charge to get her into a good position, like right here, maybe. Let's see, charge. Get her into decent positioning. Okay, hold on. They really want to duck into the fire. There we go. And this spot might be begging for a grenade, but at the same time, I mean... Just look at all this much she can do. Use an extra action to drop a reload. Take the moment to do that. And I think the prudent thing to do after that is to drop damage onto this elite. Buff. Just carved a hole in him. And there's old Oscar back here still. Understood. Moving out. You know what? Can you can you see her? Yeah, you can see Diamond. Don't inspire her. Drop another shotgun blast on this guy. Might not be enough to kill him, but that red fog might be enough to disable him. You can do it. I was wrong. Dropped him dead. Shotgun flanks, man. They'll tear people in half. Magic missile potential to do no damage. Ray of Frost ignores cover. Let's... Acid Blast, right? Let's see if we can tear his armor off. Behind the back magic blast. Hey, you got him though. I'm taking fire. Purifiers never turn fire. Really cracked me up. How can we charge? Oh, 
Apparently we're charging this muton. Okay. Let's get in there. I mean, what do you have to be afraid of? Do we get the counterattack? Uh, no. No, they do not. They get lit on fire. And then they'll duck over here. Uh, just the one, but still panic, so it's not that big a deal. I, uh... What I was saying earlier about these missions feeling a little bit, uh... skewed in our favor at the moment. I'm really feeling it right now. These guys never had a chance. That guy literally never had a chance. They actually do damage to him? Wow. Color me impressed. All right, Diamond. Let's see if Rage Strike connects. Doesn't connect. You're kidding. Ah, well. Slice him up. What do you concerned with an explosion? Where are you, Calvin? Let's have you just come finish this man off. Sprint. Get over here. And take him out. Really showing off that Spartan power this mission. Feels good. And we'll finally have some more intel that we can use to push forward into another area. I thought that was going to take a little while. Let's we'll drop by the black market in order to sell some stuff off for supplies, but yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of xenolators we still have laying around that we can use to install a radio tower somewhere. We did sell a lot before us, but I think we still had a lot left in stock, so let's just keep hoping, huh? And despite everything Calvin Forget did, uh, Diamond still did the most damage with her shotgun and punches. The raw power of a flank. For oh, four days. Let's see, let's see. Healing passively for two turns or damage and freeze in a burst. Like, all of these sound great on the outside, right? Just like click. Freeze everyone in those tiles. But then you get the stuff like healing for two over three turns. And that's like never bad. And we saw how good Magic Weapon was. Do you have more damage with spells is also good. Being immune to most damage types, like outside of direct fire, is pretty good. We'll commit. We'll keep committing for now. We'll just spend the occasional AP we get from uh, as level ups on other stuff. But I think we got the best one anyway with magic weapon. One angle nozzle, breaching module, destroys walls and covers. You move through them. I don't know what that is. Another hell weave, and there's another xenolator. Considering the nice. limited resources available to you, Commander, right. you have still Bandit back in there. To exceed my expectations. Negative trait acquired. Lewis Clark. Who is Lewis Clark? Oh, just one of our vanguards. Huh. Got the wrong uh, little title thing right there. That's strange. Oh, whatever. I guess it's not that big a deal. 
Alright, hold on. What's this right here? Another level 2 bond, Calvin, and... What is this? That looks nightmarish. Anyway, improve the bond in the training center. Anything else that we want to do right here? No, not really. Let's keep on keeping on. Finish up getting this resistance contact. And then we'll have to head over to the black market and sell some stuff off. Except two more AP. Oh, that's cute, I guess. Uh, I don't need I don't need notifications for this though. Don't don't worry about that. And more contacts. Good. Ooh, maybe another scientist already. But we have to go get money so we can keep upgrading our guns with all the magnetic stuff we just got. Force level just went up. That's gonna be fun. Market is open. It's a broken fire eater alloys. Ooh, how much? Per oh, only twenty. I got all excited for a sec. I was like, oh, now I have to consider selling off these awesome pieces of equipment. But nah. Let's see what those actually sell for and what they are. Too bad the image seems to be broken. But I'm interested in what those actually do. We'll sell this now that we actually have the uh, the magnetic weapon upgrades and don't need these anymore. Salvage what we can, sell it to the black market. Okay, we'll go ahead and get that together. We still have one of those we can investigate. We'll sell the xenolator, the frame, and just basically anything that's a flamethrower. And if there's anything else flamethrower parts we'll sell off and I think the rest of it is stuff we're gonna be able to research or use to make better gear of some sort we really have a lot of officer corpses which is uh, you know, kinda strange I'm sure we'll find more eventually though as we keep running across uh, if we find more collectors and the like should we get another scientist? I think we can get another scientist. We can take a break for that. Our avatar project's pretty low. Alright. Oh yeah, this thing. That weird pistol. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's go ahead and put something else in the proving ground for now. Uh, we still only have two cores. And we're pretty low on alien alloys, aren't we? We may have to run to the black market again and get some more of those. That feels pretty bad. Uh, but I suppose until then we can go ahead and start working on one of these, maybe. I mean, they're just sitting there otherwise. Three days gives us something to do with our proving ground. Good enough for me. We'll throw diamond back in there. Oh, hold on. What's going on over here? No, soldier, uh, more training, of course. That gives me a good idea though, why don't we put our sorcerer in here to train up to get more AP so he potentially can get uh, the what have you, the AP for getting like sorcerer bonds and all that kind of stuff, special abilities. Prove your bond as well. Are we doing the bond training? Or? I can't tell. Sure. Okay, apparently we got it all together. What's this? What is this icon? It's not doing anything. Weird stuff going on in the base. Let's just forget about it for now and keep on moving. I've had a lot of time to come up with these tricks. Engineer. We lost two Illyrium cores and one of our engineers is wounded. Jesus Christ, that's bad. I... Is that what this is? I... I guess that makes sense. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, how long does that last? We do not have idle staff in the training center, and yeah, okay, I guess we just have to wait for her to come back. Lost two of our Illyrium cores, that is a huge pain in the ass. 
we may have to divert to the black market again just to buy more of those. Alright. We can't build the shadow chamber because we don't have the power. Well, we may have to just go ahead and add a power conduit. Can we build it now? Yep. Construction Can't put that off much longer, so we're going to go and stick someone in there. And we'll throw you in here so that you can finish clearing this debris and we can put something else in here in a little bit. That was going to be weapons money, but uh, Chosen really interfering with stuff. And she gets even stronger. Ugh. Alright, one more of those while we're waiting on our weapons to finish and then we can start maybe unlocking more stuff for the proving ground through autopsies this outcome though it is intriguing yeah there we go better rocket launchers research for Illyrium. vector and snipers gotten better flamestorm cannon okay I'll take instant stuff harbinger rifle that sounds cool as all hell Clear upgrade to, looks like it's just some fancy magnetic rifle. We'll see. We'll see. One day for this hybrid sword deck. Sure. I will begin our Why not? It's one day. I, I, I was so sure that was going to be something else that was terrible news. <laughs> Maybe be getting about two scientists and once here, though. That'll be a great way to uh, peel off from here. But we should start working on finding the warlock. We just need to throw a sergeant at that. We'll throw our trooper and just someone else down here. Probably this other sectoid. And to reduce the risk of an ambush, we're going to go into the stock trooper. We can take wound uh, potential wounds. We probably don't need another ambush. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. I get to work on that. Moving forward, let's see if we can finally get the scientists we've been trying to grab. We our research in remarkable time Still no. Still no. We got two new swords, though. I guess that's something. Data mass decryption. Lyrium. Takes 40 crystals. So much stuff to do. Uh, let's, let's unlock the GOC stuff, because every time we've gotten something from the SCP folk, it's been an amazing piece of equipment. Oh, a landed UFO. You know what? We've needed one of these. Static assistance, robotic division, and mock XCOM. Low alert, because we don't have a lot of presence over there. So it shouldn't be that big a deal. I kind of want to just send the program to go deal with that for us, you know? In a big way. Oh my. That's 40 AP on our robot we could throw on him. Damn, he is almost max level. I didn't even realize. Alright, let's see. What can we do with 40... AP. Repair no longer ends turn. That's pretty good. Equipped heavy weapons have a more damage increased area of effect. Spark can throw another blast out there. Cause people to have to reload. Jeez, these are really good. Let's make our repairs better and cheaper to use and make our heavy weapons even stronger. That sounds like just a really good idea. And Bandit here, let's see, 16, you can grab another one. Overwatch shots, you get plus 10 aim, and they can crit. Survival instinct, get tougher to kill while you're hurt. You can get a crit, your target, and other enemies, and six tiles have a chance to panic. Ooh, did we get you aggression that increases the chance of a crit? We did. Hmm. Watchful eye. Getting another shot in. Three over shot. You know? 
I only use enough people I'm trying to kill anyway. Let's get, if we crit, a chance to panic the enemy. That sounds like to be a fun way to chain reaction, kill a bunch of guys. 21 over here on Defiant. Haven't seen you in a little while, girl. Uh, interception, become undetectable in game mobility. And 10 to all reaction. She doesn't intercept a lot, though, so let's, uh, let's chill on that for now. Look at something else. Call the weak. Jeez. Come in rage, dealing more damage, coming immune to mental effects, but having lower defense. 10 turn cooldown each time you attack or is targeted by attacks. 50, not that community. Break away from vipers. Wow, she's got a bunch of weird abilities. Consumes all action points and generate and grants one movement only. Allows the soldier to teleport to the original tile after using intercept. Critical electric. What are all these weird abilities she's got? Okay, let's focus on... Um... Movement, I guess? And grab the teleport ability and we'll go back here and we'll get... Uh, Something else that boosts up interception. Because I want to see what kind of nonsense she can pull off with that. We may take a sec to look more of this off camera. If we see anything uh, interesting, we'll drop it off for now. I think I'm actually going to send the program after this so we can see what they're up to. But we're going to worry about that next time for now. We're going to drop out of this. Thank you for jumping by the channel. Drop a like if you liked the video. If you saw something that you thought was interesting or had something you thought I should add to this, leave a comment about it. And if you want to support us, consider you. Uh, doing that. Subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you. Take care and I'll see you next time.